Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170. Now today, I'm going to be making a video about, as some of you might already know, there is another screen recorder that has snuck its way onto the App Store. Now, if you guys remember video, video actually got removed from the App Store because Apple does not like screen recorders. I, I can't think of a logical reason why, but it's one of Apple's ridiculous rules. They just do not like screen recorders. I can think of two screen recorders before video. I remember one was something cloud something. And then I remember that I know for a fact there was at least two screen recorders that snuck into the app store before video guys. But video is the first iOS 9 screen recorder that did sneak into the app store and it costed $5. Now I did have somebody donate the app to me. It was really good. But shortly after that, that app, but right before the app got removed, Apple actually made a new policy. This policy, not that many people know about, like, yes, I made a video about it, but iDevice helped, he actually, inside of his video, he did not know, and he actually screwed up inside of his video, and I don't believe Boomhacks, which is the founder of this, I believe he's the one who actually, I believe he's the first one to upload, and he's the one who found it. I, I'm like 80% sure that neither one of them know about it, but there is an Apple policy that when an app gets removed that is a free app, what will happen is, is that it will also get removed from your purchase history. Now, Geeks Corner did tell me about this when the thing was uh, was first brought up. I didn't believe him. I thought he was. I thought he was full of it. So I'm like, no way, dude. That that's complete bullcrap. It's for any app, even in the past, guys. Even my Apple ID that had Playbox HD no longer has Playbox HD on it because of this. And I'm talking about the Playbox HD that the original one that was uploaded about over a, almost a year ago that has over twenty thousand views. No longer have it. So as soon as an app gets removed from the app store, if it's free, gone forever. All my Bobby movie boxes that were inside Apple D, gone. I can't stand this new policy. I th it, It's honestly a big pain in the ass. But Apple always finds a new way to screw over the non-jailbreak users. But if you guys download this app, which I'm actually going to be showing you guys right now. Uh, wait, it actually did work. Didn't think it was going to work. Let's go ahead and open up my gallery and I'm going to show you guys a picture of it. So as you guys can see, yes, this is screenshots from iDevice Helps Video. I've also got a screenshot from Boomhacks. So credit to them for actually owning a working iOS device. Now, as you guys can see, when you first open up the app, this is what it looks like, guys. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit Start Recording. This does not require any airplay, guys. That's actually a video I'm going to be showing you guys later. As soon as you guys hit this, as you guys can see, it can only record up to two minutes only unless you go with VIP. So it's free, but, I mean, you have up to two minutes of recording. What you guys get to is it uh, right before you get up to minute 50, stop it. Do another video, download an editing tool, and there you guys go. That's a nice, easy, simple bypass to get the free one. You're going to want to choose your orientation, which I'm guessing this is portrait, landscape, and then the other kind of landscape with the home button on the other side. Now, remember, guys, it's easy to bypass the VIP. All you have to do is stop recording at a minute 30 and just use an actual editing tool like Cut Pro. Now, I tried getting a screenshot to where it actually showed the red bar on top. You guys can actually see it just a little tiny bit. And then when you open it, guys, up, all you have to do is hit stop recording. I believe that was all the screenshots I got. And here's a screenshot of it actually inside of the thing, which is called Smart Pixel. So let's go ahead and go back. Now, when you guys are actually editing it, this is what it looks like, guys. You could do cutting subtitles and dubbing whatever that is I don't really know what that is but it's obviously something you can edit with but yeah guys just remember the most important thing about this guys is that once this is removed from the app store it is out of your purchase history so get this while you can guys and if you do, if it cannot get deleted off your device guys unless you reset your device or you delete it yourself so now the biggest question is, let's say this, you're watching this three weeks from now, it's no longer in the app store. Now with the video, you can get it. It's not inside the app store, but it's in third party apps. All you, it has to be signed. 
normally emus for iOS or emus for iOS. I don't really know what their name is. I always forget. I don't really hear their name that often, but I do know that they're the ones who sign almost all the apps like GBA for iOS video and all that from now on. They always find the signed versions. Now, guys, what they did is they actually did sign video for us, so you can't get it from them. So within a month, two th months, three months, four months, a year, whatever how long it takes, I think it took maybe, I want to say, three to four months for video to get signed. It might take the same exact amount of time, four pixel, recorder, pixel, bender, whatever it's called, to get signed onto a third-party app store. So actually, I'll be right back, guys. I'm actually going to be showing you guys what it looks like. So hold on, guys. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, guys, I am back. It will actually look something like this when you're inside of the App Store, guys. Of course, there will be a link inside of the description. And as you guys can see, it is free. So that means it will get removed as from the App Store as soon as they figure out that what this is. So, I mean, as you guys can see, here it is right there. Now, of course, it does say camera recording, but when you guys download it, it will say screen recording or whatever it does say. So, I know, so I do hope you guys actually like this video. Now, remember, there's an easy way to bypass the VIP. It's annoying, but if you have no other screen recorders, it can easily get the job done. And remember, guys, once it's removed from the App Store, it is, in fact, indeed removed from your purchase history. So with that said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. This is AJ170, signing out. See you guys next time.